Kelly, and I have another around the lantern light cabin video. And my very first YouTube video that I ever did was making a Canadian mouse trap. So I'm actually going to make what's called a Rocky Mountain mouse trap, and it's actually the exact same thing except it's just referred to differently depending on where you're from. So I've heard it referred to both ways. And so I'm going to start off by making one of those and I'll show you the finished product as well. And then also my second video was taking my Sig Sauer P226 uh, apart and back together blindfolded. So those are my two starts on YouTube. So anyways, what I have here so far, it's really hard to see because this is just some really rudimentary light. This is a five gallon bucket. It has a little bit of water in it. You can even leave it dry or you can add antifreeze. People do it differently. I have just a coat hanger and I'm gonna undo the coat hanger. Usually I use a pop can or a beer can or something like that, but since I don't drink pop and rarely drink beer, I don't have anything like that. So I'm gonna poke a hole in the end of this red Solo cup. So it's a different use for a red Solo cup. And then what I'm going to do is run that um, coat hanger through there, tie the coat hanger off on either side of the five gallon bucket, put some peanut butter on this. The only thing that might be a little funny is the end of the red solo cup is totally open. So I'm going to see how that'll spin. If it doesn't spin properly, I might add a little bit of a cardboard with a hole in it in the middle to allow it to spin properly around the, um, the coat hanger. So, and then I'll make a little ramp. The mouse will go up, smell the peanut butter, get on there, and hopefully go for a roller coaster ride and end up in my bucket. 